All right, in this video, we're going to look at determining the limit of a few different sequences. So in part A, we have uh, the sequence associated with 1 over n cubed. So what we'll do is, again, we just take the limit as n goes to infinity of uh, 1 over n cubed. Well, as n gets really, really, really big, the denominator is going to get really, really, really big. We're going to have 1 over a very, very big number. So 1 over a large number gets arbitrarily close to 0. So the limit of the following uh, would just simply equal 0. Um, part B, same thing. We'll just take the limit as n goes to infinity. So recall the shortcut. Um, if the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, we just do the ratio of the coefficients. Um, so I can just simply look at this and say, well, this is 1n squared and 3n squared. The degree of the top equals the degree of the bottom. We'll get 1 third. It's a very useful little shortcut to remember when you do sequences in series. But again, kind of to show it with a little bit more work, we can divide everything by n squared. So n squared over n squared is 1. 2n over n squared will be 2 over n. Then we'll have 4 over n squared. 3n squared over n squared is 3 and then 1 over n squared. And again, the idea is now it's more clear because as n goes to infinity, this term will go to 0, the 4 over n squared will go to 0, the 1 over n squared will get arbitrarily close to 0. So again, we're just left with 1 third as the limit uh, for the second sequence. Last but not least here, we have n to the third times e to the negative n. If we do a limit as n goes to infinity, notice we'll get, uh, you know, as n goes to infinity, n to the third will go to infinity, but we'll get e to the negative infinity, and if you take e and raise it to a uh, quote-unquote big negative number, that gets close to zero. So this is going to be an indeterminate product, so you may have to use L'Hopital's rule on these problems. I'm going to leave the n cubed in the numerator. I'll put the e to the negative n in the denominator, but then that would uh, be written as just e to the n. So now if we use L'Hopital's rule, well, we'll get 3n squared over e to the n, so the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. This is still infinity over infinity, an indeterminate form. We can use L'Hopital's rule again. We'll get 6n over e to the n. Again, as n goes to infinity, both top and bottom will go to infinity. So we can use L'Hopital's rule one more time. Then we'll be left with 6 in the numerator. We'll still have e to the n in the denominator. But now this is going to be 6 over a really, really big number, which is going to get arbitrarily close to 0. So we would say this last sequence uh, converges to the number 0.